Today is a filming day, and it's a brews filming day specifically. So we have like five different brews that we're working on right now, as well as I think we're gonna be making a new one. But um, before I get into that. <laughs> so, on to the brew day. This is a quick peek into the fermentation station. Some of these are coming out today. Almost all of these are going to be touched in some way today, though. We'll be bottling, carbonating, racking, tasting, all sorts of stuff. And then, like I said, making one more. But I did want to talk about something that's come up a few times recently in the comments, and that's where these little shorter form videos are really great because it really gives us an opportunity to talk directly to you about a very specific topic or question. I really like that. The question is, uh, one person said, why are you saying that if you put in too much sugar, it'll stall? Well. I'll get to that in a second. Another person had their hydrometer basically pop out of the cylinder when they were taking a reading. The OG was so high and they couldn't understand what the problem was. Well, let me explain. Yeast have a tolerance, okay? And that's alcohol tolerance, but it's also uh, due to something called osmotic pressure. Without getting too scientific, too much sugar will actually damage the yeast, okay? I don't know what that limit is, and I think it's different for each strain, but let me just say this. Too much sugar, meaning if your OG reading, your specific gravity reading is off the chart, it's probably not going to ferment well. I mean, it's just not going to. No yeast can really reliably go over 20 or 22%. When you're starting with like a 1.200 gravity, and I don't mean 1.020, I mean 1.200. We've actually heard people have those numbers you're just not gonna do well. That's like 26 or 27% potential alcohol. I'm sorry, it's probably not going to work. Could you have that one outlier that actually works out okay? Sure, but 26%, probably not very likely to happen. Ah, you need very specific circumstances. Let's not even get into that. What I wanted to talk about is, what do you do? How do you fix these things, okay? If you happen to, you know, I dumped in four pounds instead of three pounds, or, you know, whatever it was, you didn't have enough water, or there was so many reasons why your OG could be higher than you think it should be. If this occurs, the easiest thing, split the batch, dilute it. Now, when you do that, if you split it, like say you had a off the chart reading. You can't even read it. You don't even know what it is. Most hydrometers only go to like a 1.160. If you happen to have done this and you're beyond that, you're probably going to end up with like a 1.080 to a 1.100 gravity if you do this, which is totally acceptable numbers. We work with those all the time. The only difference is if you only have one one gallon fermenter and now you need two, okay, I understand. But in reality, Get a couple of fermenters anyway. Always keep a spare just for situations like that because you don't want to throw it away, you don't want to dump it, and you really, I wouldn't risk letting that ferment. We don't like to go above, say, a 1.120. Does that mean you can't ever? No. For us, in the situations that we like to work in, we don't like to go above that, mostly because we don't really make 20% ABV brews. I don't find that I actually like them all that much. Now, if that's your choice and that's what you wanna make, go for it, by all means. Just know that you're probably going to have a higher chance of stalling without going into very serious nutrition requirements and scheduling and things like that. For our way of doing things, a simpler method and all that, much, much better to stay a little bit on the lower side of gravity. That way, you know it'll ferment out. Also, if you're wondering what all this stuff is, this is a remote to operate the camera. We have some cables to connect the camera to the monitor here so that we can see what we're doing. You might have heard us refer to this while we're on screen. And then we have our lapel microphones. The uh, wireless mics are actually, I put them in the other room so they can charge up a little bit. Then we have power adapter for the camera, power adapter for the monitor. As you can see, there's a lot of gear that goes into making a video, and that's just the recording gear. That's not even including the lighting and other things that go into it. But that's not really what this vlog was about. It was really more to just show you guys, even if you happen to add too much sugar, too much honey, or whatever fermentable, and your original gravity is way off the charts, you can fix it. But you know what? The really important thing is you took a reading in the first place. A lot of people don't understand why they need that reading at all. So since you took that reading, good on you. And that's the end of this vlog. Thanks guys. Talk to you soon.